It's time for coffee! Now, it's currently the holiday season and besides getting a lot of questions about video games, I noticed that there are a lot of people wondering how to get started on YouTube or on Twitch for that matter or really how to start making content online and if there are any tips that I can give you. Now, I am by no means an expert, okay? I've been on this website actually since 2008, that is when I first uploaded my first RuneScape video. It was absolutely terrible, there wasn't even like a partnership program so nobody was making a living. At that point it was literally just a website where you could host some video content and that's basically what people used it for. But obviously nowadays it's it's gotten to the point where I don't actually like, you know, work besides making video content. And obviously the combination of YouTube and Twitch and all that actually makes me very, very happy. I get to consider this my living and even better, I get to consider this my career. And the only reason why that is the instance and why that is the case it's because you guys watch the content, right? And I'm very, very grateful for that. But with that, I've been receiving a lot of questions from people and I figured I should go ahead and answer at the very least some of them. All right, so first things first. I think one of the most important things that a lot of people forget when they first want to start making content is doing it with the right intentions, okay? I see a lot of people that want to get started with their YouTube channel or they want to get started making a live stream or they want to get started on social media or whatever with the eventual goal of making a lot of money. And honestly, <laughs> I would say if your you know, sole purpose or your main priority is to make money online, you can probably get yourself another job. I mean, it's gonna take a long time. What I would like to say is that if you first get started, consider consider it, it it's sort of like a full-time job that's not gonna earn you a penny for say one to two years at least, okay? If you're willing to do that because you have another motivation besides the cash, I suppose, you, you may very well be on the right track. For me personally, I just reached 99 fire making in RuneScape and I wanted to go ahead and share that with friends of mine and I thought I, you know, if I make a cool edit around it, maybe more people will watch it as well. But that was really, you know, the sole purpose. I didn't really have any intentions other than, you know, just simply wanting to make fun content that potentially people would watch as well. So I would say this really ties in with your motivations. If your motivation is to make money, I mean, there are easier ways to make money, guys. I can guarantee you uh, there are easier ways to make money. But if your motivation is to share and, you know, create and to make something, you know, about a subject that you are extremely passionate about, it most definitely is like the ideal scenario to get started. I mean, for me, I was extremely passionate about video games, but maybe you are really... I don't know, really passionate about like farming in, in real life or like newspapers or like, you know, whatever. That is the awesome thing about the internet, okay? If you are passionate about anything, and I'm pretty sure that each and every one of you that is watching this is passionate about something, you can create content about that and I can guarantee you there are people out there online you know, who actually watch it. Now with that, we can talk about the, you know, second most important subject, I suppose, and that is when you are looking to get started and you are thinking about um, getting your own channel, the initial views are sort of like the most difficult ones. And I think what is really important uh, to try and look for is a sort of a niche uh, of videos that you alone can actually quite easily make. So what I mean with that is that if you are going to get started with, say, like, gaming videos as well, but your main focus is going to be comedy, you're gonna go up against a ton of competition. I mean, the biggest category on YouTube right now pretty much is like, you know, funny gaming videos, I suppose, and you've got so much competition to go up against that in order to, for your videos to get noticed, it is going to be extremely difficult. Instead, for example, what I focused on for the longest time, without like me consciously making that decision, by the way, I just, you know, made some video content and I thought it was cool. Uh, but what I focused on for the longest time was not just StarCraft II gameplay, but I focused specifically on uh, StarCraft II content for the Zerg race focused around guides and tutorials, right? So the niche wasn't just like funny video game videos or whatever, but I actually, you know, extended that niche and I like branched off into a very, very specific uh, direction. Now, obviously, ever since then, I've moved, you know, away from that a little bit as well. And once you get a bit of an audience, I suppose that is something you can do. Um, but, you know, I, I would recommend getting started um, in, in something that you know a lot about, something that you are truly passionate about and getting started, you know, about that subject. And I can guarantee you, no matter what the weird thing is that you are passionate about, I'm sure you can, uh, you can find people uh, that are also passionate about that subject. And that, that's really honestly the coolest part about this whole thing. Like, oftentimes I get to talk to a lot of you in the comment section of the video, and I see that a lot of you absolutely adore video games as well. And 
I mean, that's, you know, the interaction and like sort of like the community aspect, I suppose, is for me personally, one of the uh, most amazing aspects of this whole thing. And it's the one thing that has always uh, kept me going as well. And you know, besides you knowing a lot about the subject that you are passionate about, it's also really important to keep in mind is that when you first start like a new hobby, be it like video making or be it like content creation or be it really anything, the first couple of weeks or maybe first couple of months are going to be relatively easy. But the longer time goes by, right, it's, it's going to feel a bit more like a grind. And I noticed that a lot of people sort of give up their hobby after like the first two or three videos. Because after that, you know, you had some ideas and you've been able to work those out in your head for a long time and you got those ideas and you worked them out, right? You need to be like thinking long term. If you are really worried about short term success, like I said, try and take that one to two year guideline. You need to think long term. You need to be able to make videos consistently. And I would say consistency is like, the most important thing, if you are looking indeed, you know, for success, whatever that means, right? If you're looking for people uh, to watch your content regularly, you need to be consistent. And I know of a lot of people that get super excited initially and they start producing a couple of videos a week and, you know, they spend all their heart or, or like all their, all their uh, energy on it and they try their very best to make the best content possible. They get started off on the right track or they get started on the right track rather and then Time goes by and they realize they sort of run out of ideas and then, you know, while they upload it three times a week initially, all of a sudden it's maybe once a week and then once every two weeks and then you don't hear from them for months and that is not what you want to do. As a matter of fact, I think it's better to like sort of like stack up on videos and release them over time just to be consistent uh, than it is to, you know, try and grind the game, I suppose, and get a lot of uploads because... Consistency is honestly everything. For me personally, I upload every single day. At the very least, I try and update, upload six days a week um, around the same time every single day as well. And I try to make sure that, you know, there is similar amounts of content every single week so people know what to expect. So if you first get started, while well, you may be able to produce like three, four videos a week, get started making like one, okay? Just upload one, maybe make the three or four, but like upload one, let it sit there and then upload another one next week. And if you can ramp up the, you know, the progress uh, after you know, a couple of months, you sort of found your flow, then it's like a good point to consider starting to add on other, you know, other uh, types of video content as well, or maybe more video content, right? But consistency is extremely important. Now, I, I haven't actually, I've just been blabbering right here. I'm extremely passionate about this, uh, but it's time for me to take a sip. Mm. Now, I do have a little bit of a list right here. Um, and um, the next thing that I do really want to mention as well is do not expect overnight success. If you are, if you are looking like to become extremely popular, right? Like, sure, there have been people in the past that absolutely blew, or, like absolutely blew up, right? And there's still channels that will come in the future as well that will go from like you know zero followers to like two million subscribers in under a month, right? Those channels will be there, but. Honestly, I would not want to be that guy. I mean, it's a lot more rewarding, I suppose, to be able to see the contained growth over time. And it's, you can't expect, you can't expect a video going viral, right? You can't expect uh, someone becoming extremely popular very, very quickly. And there's no way you can sort of like beat the math, I suppose. What you should be looking for is just consistent overtime growth uh, that is sustainable and something that you can actually keep up with. Don't expect to be an overnight success. It's just, it's just not going to go well. Now, next up, I think what is really important as well is to develop thick skin. What I mean with that is that if you are going to get started with any content creation online, there will be the so-called haters, right? Now, I don't actually get all too many of them, but I can guarantee you that people have said some very, very nasty things to me as well. And it's one of those things that can easily go to your head if you're not, you know, being very careful about it. I mean, there are people um, that are relatively big online as well that do get all of the hate and it, and it you know, basically gets to their head. They start responding to it really poorly um, instead of like removing the content, um, you know, that, you know, or not rather the content, the comments that people are, uh, that are posting that are actually mean or rude or whatever. Instead of like removing them, they decide to go in discussion with those people. And in general, it's not just like an energy sink as well, but it's just not the type of person that you can really be online. I mean, if you cannot 
stand people criticizing your content, be it in a hateful way or be it in like, you know, a nice way, I suppose. In general, to most of the hating, you're gonna have to, you're gonna have to, you know, not necessarily stand up to it, but you're gonna have to be able to deal with it. If you're not capable of, of people, you know, trying to be mean to you, you should probably consider doing something else. I mean, if you are looking for love and compassion on this website, I should probably go ahead and, you know, make you consider getting a dog instead because you're not, you're not gonna, you know, you're not gonna get it in the comments every single time. I would say for every like 100 positive comments I get, I probably get like one or two negative ones. So the ratio is most definitely very positive, but I'll also be honest in telling you that oftentimes it's those negative comments that can easily, you know, stick out. I, I, th those are the ones that can easily be remembered, you know? Like you get a lot of people that are positive to you and they're like, hey, this, this is awesome, this is great. And then there's this one guy that's like, hey, you're a douchebag, I don't like your voice. And you're like, well, crap, I actually, Am I, is my, is there actually something wrong with my voice? You know, even though you just read a hundred comments of people being positive, there's the one guy that's trying to shove you under the rug, right? And you really, you really want to try and not let that happen to you. I know it's easier said than done. It's something that happens over time as well. I think you get better at that over time. Um, but in particular, if you are, you know, uh, like, for example, if you're looking for your channel to like blow up, right, with a viral video, those are oftentimes the channels and the, the creators that cannot handle the critic, uh, like the critique very well, and they will be the ones that are arguing the most in general. Um, you need to obviously, you know, just be very careful with what you say. And I'm not saying like you shouldn't speak your mind, but in my experience, instead of like giving, you know, haters <laughs> the attention that they desperately are looking for, try and just simply remove those comments and you know prevent those people from commenting again on your videos it's 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 generally speaking just best practice and with that i think it's really important to be humble and honest to your audience as well what i mean with that is that you want to be treating the people uh, that you are making the content for in the same way that you want to be treated as well while there are going to be people out there that will try and trigger and provoke you i suppose into you know saying mean things back to them in the end you got to be the one that's you know rising above that and that is stronger than that if you are looking to make online video content i think it's extremely important um to try and and, and rise above that because if you get if you if you hang in that in, if, in if you hang in that area for too long like mentally speaking it's just gonna bother you in the long run and you really and you really should try and avoid that next up your first videos will be bad. I can tell you right now, if you look back at my first videos, they're all terrible. Now, I'm pretty happy with what I'm making nowadays. And when I, when I personally, right, go back into like the archives and I check out the old videos, I, I cringe a little because I'm like, well, how did I, how did I even consider uploading this back in the day, right? And your first videos will basically all be terrible, but you got to embrace it. It's, it's, a, it's a progress, right? In particular, when you are... Um, making content for you know the long run and you're making content over time and you're planning on making content for a couple of years at the very least it's getting to a point where you obviously no, don't just uh, become better at producing these videos but you also like grow as a person right and you got to embrace the failures of your past maybe you're making something right now and you're really happy about it and maybe I will look at this video like three years from now and I'll be like oh my god like how what was I even saying and thinking at the time right you gotta embrace those failures and don't try and you know get the perfect out of perfect videos right from the get-go because if you set if you set that level too high for yourself it may just very well turn out that you know you never actually finish any project <laughs> you gotta try and once again be consistent right if you never finish anything because you're not happy with the quality or you're not happy with uh with your failures quote-unquote failures um you, you you gotta you gotta rethink you gotta rethink next up what i would recommend you learn and this sort of ties back in i suppose with the motivation from earlier uh and like finding your niche audience i suppose try and and teach yourself the seo basics and basically what that means is like the search engine optimization uh basic rules there are ways for your videos and you know your online content uh to be found better right Basically, um, such as titling of the video, such as description of videos, tags, and all those kinds of things are very, very important. Now, I'm not going to explain to you how to, like, 
you know, optimize it right now because that's really not not really my uh, not really my cup of tea and not really the goal of this video. And on top of that, like the rules that YouTube makes and sets are changing pretty much on the daily it feels like they could change up uh, the algorithms all the time and it's important for you to be up to date on all of those rules but try and at the very least read into it and figure out a way uh, for your videos to be found a little bit better in particular when you're first getting started in those niche like niche audience um, figure out a way for you know your search um, or like your videos to be higher up in the search results uh, without actually having to pay for advertising I think that's uh, one of the uh, one of the more important things as well and something you know that you should just consider making into a study as well Next up what I think is also very important is to try and not obsess Over subscriber counts over fewer counts over like all those kinds of things It's very easy to go into your YouTube analytics Or Google Analytics or you know Twitter analytics, whatever it is you want to make it's really easy to Obsess over the little nitty-gritty details, okay, and it's important to look at that as well But you need to be able to look at those statistics objectively like if you're looking at it um, On like a near daily basis and you're like obsessing over each and every little little nitty-gritty detail You are probably not gonna enjoy your journey very much try and just simply make the best stuff that you can make right now, okay if you are if you are thinking making if you're thinking of making content right now, think of like the best thing that you can make right now. Okay, don't think so much about like what happened in the past and obviously learn from mistakes that you made, but don't obsess over it. Try and make fun content. Try and make stuff that actually you would personally want to watch, and you know, uh, let the statistics talk for themselves, and you know, use them as a guideline, but. Don't don't follow it religiously and then the last tip for today And I think this is important for people that I guess are a little bit like further along the line Be it like you're looking to group up together with like a YouTube network or you're looking to uh, Sign a partnership with a company or you're you know looking to get sponsored or you're looking for extra ad rep or whatever Right if you're looking for any of those kinds of things where you're working together with another company Keep in mind that contracts are going to be involved and there are people out there that are trying to screw you over Okay, if you do not know how to read contracts, and I'm no expert in this sort of thing myself either. I mean, I've I've gotten a bunch of experience ever since, I suppose, and you know, I can understand most of the jargon. But pay someone <laughs> to like get legal advice. Okay, pay someone um, that can go over those contracts with you, and this may cost you a couple of hundred bucks. Okay. And I, I will tell you that that will happen and in most scenarios you probably don't have to because it's not something you have to worry about But there have been in particular like in the past like a couple years prior There have been many channels that basically sold out All of their content just because they signed with a company with like a locked-in uh, Amount of, of content that they could create in the first place and like a forced amount of stuff that they needed to make and they didn't own the intellectual property anymore and there's all kinds of things that you can be screwed over in. So please, if you are a little bit further along that line, spend a little bit of money on getting advice with legal help. You can get an attorney or like a lawyer or whatever uh, to go over those contracts with you so you know exactly what it means. And this this may be something that is, that is a little bit um, uh, obvious, I mean, but don't be irresponsible. <laughs> Like, just be smart, be smart and spend the money if you need to because it's it's gonna save you in the long run Now once again, right? I don't claim to be an expert and I'm sure there are many of other things that I could have told you as well That I'm forgetting right now But I hope at the very least that some of you found this video useful If you did make sure you hit that like button down below and if you want to see more like this Make sure you let me know in the comment section because I would love to make more of these like rambling type of videos where I'm talking about a subject uh, in the future as well. So while you're at it, you can subscribe so you get notifications as soon as I upload more. You can also follow me on Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook. The links are in the description. I want to thank you for watching. Have an amazing day. Do not forget to smile, alright? And I'll see you in the next one.